Hello friends, welcome to InfoTalks and my name is Gaurav Agrawal. Friends, we all need to have website for some reason or other. Might it be creating a blog or an affiliate website or a website for a startup or business or if you want to start providing website designing services. But one question comes in our mind that we need to know programming, coding and designing to start website designing otherwise we could not design a website but it's not true so by the end of this video you would realize that you can design a website without knowing any coding programming or designing knowledge for that i have created few steps and few pages on my website following these four steps you can design a professional website very easily so first of all before we start i would like you all to open up this particular link mentioned in the description section so that you can follow these steps and understand how you can design a website in these four steps and that is not all by the end of this video i'll tell you about two gifts that i'll be giving which will help you in designing a professional website and a very beautiful website so if you are new to my channel then i would like to share that infotox is an initiative where we share lot of tutorials and tips which can help you grow and become successful in your life and earn lots of money so let us begin for that i'll take you to my computer screen and describe the complete process to design a website in just four easy steps so let's begin it now so guys we are at our computer screen and you can see the screen that it's written learn to make a website in four easy steps i have provided an audio also so the very first step is get a name for your website and you will find videos in hindi as well as english to support you in each point you will be exploring through these pages so first of all if you want to create a website for your business or startup so you don't need to go to the step a but if you are going to start a blog or an affiliate website then you need to decide a niche for your blog or affiliate website and for that i have described three easy steps which will help you decide your niche so once a niche is decided then the next step is to decide a domain name so what is a good domain name and what parameters which should consider while selecting a domain name for that also i have created a video in which i have described all the steps through which you can select a perfect domain name which can rank on google or any other search engine now your domain name is finalized then you have to check for its availability so you can click on this link check availability and check the availability of your domain if you don't find your domain then you can search for another else you can just try to book it immediately because if you delay then someone else might take this domain name so this completes your step 1 and till you reach step 4 you should claim your ebook worth rupees 199 in inr which will be very helpful for you to create a professional website or blog so guys now we are on step 2 and step 2 is for hosting when we have selected a domain name for our website or blog that is a address and hosting is a place where the images the pages the content of your website will reside so we have two options for hosting one is for only learning if you want to create a website for your business or earning from the website then i will recommend you option 2 because it is having ssl and email options which you will not find in option 1 so for creating a website for earning purpose go for option 2 that is a premium hosting so as you click this link a website will open which is a2 hosting and it's a very good hosting i recommend it personally if you want to check the validity of a hosting then there is a website known as trustpilot.com you can go to trustpilot.com it will show you all the reviews and ratings of that particular hosting and you can very easily decide whether this hosting is good or not when you come to a2 hosting there is an option of shared hosting if you are a starter you are starting a blog or a website then shared hosting is enough for your website so you can choose this particular option and click on get started and it will guide you to all the steps till you buy that particular hosting if you already have a domain that we have already purchased then you can put the domain name if you have not then 
not an issue you can just select an option of use a subdomain where a2 hosting gives you an option to select a subdomain which will be a temporary thing and later on you can get your main domain name added so now you are here in this screen and it is showing you the final cost it is showing you 36 months price if you want to buy it for 36 months if you have that much of buzzer then it's okay otherwise you can opt for 12 months but don't take it for one month uh, if you take it for one month then after one month your website might stop so you can select accordingly according to your budget if i am selecting 12 months next you have to select your hosting area like your location so whichever location is nearby your country you can select that particular location and no other option you need to select because everything is already available in this hosting you can continue with this particular plan and check out for payments you can just fill in all your details and check out for payments and finally you will be having your user id and password in your email using which you can log in to your hosting panel now let us see the further steps so guys let's move to step 3 because we have selected our hosting before that i would like to tell you how to connect your hosting and domain which is a very essential part because you have purchased a domain and a hosting so you need to connect both of them for that we'll go to our domain panel and see how we can connect where we need to mention the name servers of our hosting so that we can connect our domain and hosting so once you log into your domain control panel you will see this domain like this and you will click on the link manage once you click on manage you will get this type of options when you scroll down where you have to click on manage dns once you click on manage dns you will get this page where you can change the name servers so clicking on change you will get the text boxes where you can input all your name servers but question is where will you find these name servers so for that you will have to log into your client area of the hosting which you have just purchased so let us go to the client area and see how does it look like so this is a client area and when you click on account details option you will get the name servers like these are the four name servers available in which this is the particular part you have to mention in the domain settings like we saw and this will update your name servers it will take 24 to 48 hours to update your name servers once it is done your site will start resolving now your website hosting and domain names are connected let's move to the next step to select a theme or design for your website in the step 3 i have provided few very good themes which you can select from although i recommend you extra theme extra theme is a very good theme and it comes with option of free templates for your website design so that you don't need to create any design you can just put in your content and start with a website so here also I'll provide few videos uh, like installation of WordPress which we'll see now and then installation of theme. So let us see installation of WordPress first then we'll move to installation of theme. So for installation of WordPress you need to move to your hosting panel again. So when you go to your hosting panel you will find an option of cPanel login. You will click on this cPanel login and your cPanel will open. In the cPanel you can also create your emails. You will just scroll down and you will find this section of emails. From here you can click on email accounts and add as many number of email accounts which you want for your domain, for your staff from here. Now let us see how to install WordPress. For that you have to go to this option WordPress A2 Optimize. So as you click on this it's very simple you will go to install section and click on quick install. As you click on quick install you will get options of admin account where you have to mention your admin username and password. I would like to recommend that use a username which you can easily remember. Normally what I do I keep my domain name which is easy for me to remember. Now it's simple you can just click on install your WordPress will get installed automatically. So guys our WordPress is installed and it's very easy you can go to the admin panel now and let us see how does the website look like 
currently before we have installed any theme to it just after installation of WordPress. So I'll click on this domain name and when you want to open a WordPress admin panel, you just need to add WP admin against your domain name which will take you to your login panel of WordPress admin. So guys, this is a website which will be in default when you install your WordPress because we have not installed any design or theme to it. Now we'll move to our dashboard and see how to install a theme and design a WordPress website in a very easy manner. As you have selected your theme, so it's very easy. We'll see how to install the theme and then very quickly customize the website and your website will be ready for you. So when you go to your dashboard, you will find an option of appearance and appearance themes. When you click on appearance themes, a themes option will appear. So if you want to add some new theme which is not available here, then you can just purchase that theme and you can add the zip file. So we'll click on add new. When we click on add new, it will show us all the options for the themes available in WordPress directory. Still, if you don't find that particular theme by searching its name, then you can click on upload theme. Choose a zip file which you have purchased uh, if you have purchased some new theme and install it from here. But we will select extra theme which I am telling you it's very easy because it gives you predefined templates. So extra theme is here and we'll click on install. Now our theme is installed, we'll click on activate to activate this. So guys, our theme is installed and before moving forward, I would like to show you theme details. So these are theme details and you have to click on extra options. So you can see in extra options, it is given learn more here, right? So to enable all these options, you need to have an extra pro plugin, which you can get for $59. That extra pro plugin will provide premium features to this extra theme which is free. But you don't need to worry because I am giving away this particular plugin of $59 which I'll show you how to get it in my last step. But before that you should know how to use that particular extra plugin. So it's very easy you just go to plugin and select add new. From here, we'll just install this extra pro plugin. So guys, our plugin is activated. Now, let me show you theme details again and we'll see how to customize this extra plugin. Now, see, these options are giving activate options and your pro modules are activated. Available extra pro modules, it's showing you, right? So you can enable and activate anything you want. And simply we will activate the site layouts because we will be needing customized site templates. So in appearance section, you will see starter templates. So select the starter template and you will see so many options of starter templates, which extra pro has added before that it will ask you to select a page builder. Page builders are different, different plugins, which give you more functionality and ease of designing a page by just drag and drop. So I recommend using Elementor. If you are comfortable with any other page builder, then you can select that particular page builder according to which it will show you all the designs of that particular theme. So here you can search from your category. So I get few options uh, among these few options. I just like to go with this nutritionist option. So this is a particular website. You can just have a view of all the pages it will have all these designs and you have to click on import complete site which will import a complete layout design and pages for you it will design a complete website for you and after that we learn how to change that content so that it becomes your own site with your own images logo and content so guys our site import is successful let us see how the website is looking after the import of the template. So guys, the website is looking amazing. It's uh, really amazing. The complete template is installed with all the pages, all the links. And we'll see how we can change this content very easily in few steps. As compared to the earlier website, when we installed WordPress, it is really looking nice, right? So let us see how to change this content, these logos and all these things. So for that, we need to go to our WordPress panel again. We have to select this customize option. So guys here, you will go to the header section and there site identity. 
so you are able to see this logo which was default with the website so we'll first change this logo so click on change logo so i have designed this logo on canva and on selection it will ask you to crop it so you can crop it according to the size which you want to place on your website so i'll remove all the white spaces and click on crop image now you see our logo is changed and here also in the website it's changed next we'll change this site title if you don't want to keep a tagline you can remove this tagline and if you have a tagline for your business you can place it here in this tagline now after making these changes you have to publish it because without publishing these changes won't be saved so this way we have changed our logo and site title now we'll move to see how to change this particular header to change the header content we need to go to a dashboard again and go to this page section so these are pages so we have to customize the pages because we have used a template so all the pages required are created in the template if you want to add any new page you can click on add new and add that page for the existing pages you can customize the content so let us see how to customize the content i'll select this home page for customization of header which we have to do with elementor because this has been designed in elementor plugin we selected before we started off with the selection of a site template so guys our page is open in elementor it's very easy you just click this particular edit button and you can change this title and description then i like to change this particular text content i'll click here and here a text area appears where i'll paste some content which i have already created rest all is looking good i'll need to change this image also so i'll select here and we'll find this option and click on choose image so guys you can see how easy it was and i have changed the header now i'll just click on update to save the changes which i have made and finally we'll see how the website is looking like but before that i'll also show you how to change the footer part and the content in between you can edit it in a similar way like you can scroll down and you can select any of these areas and you can uh, change the content if you want to remove it's very easy you can select anything and you can just click on delete it will be removed so for that i'll go to the dashboard again and we'll see from where we can change the footer basically footer is common to every page so there is an option in this particular plugin header and footer builder so similarly guys our footer is open for edit whenever i select any place i'll find an option like i'll change my email id then i can change my contact number similarly i can change my logo as we did earlier then i would like to change this particular name which we changed on the header as well you can change all the social media icons from here it's very easy you will just click here you will get all the social media options from where you can place your social link if you don't want any of these you can remove or you can even add more by clicking on add item similarly you can change your address from here so this way you can change your footer it was so easy and then you can finally update it now let us see how our website is looking after updation so guys you can see the title it's showing the title which we kept right and this is the logo and all the content of the header has been changed now let us uh, look at the footer as well so footer is also changed so this way you can very easily change content of all the pages i'll show you few more things which will be required for you to make changes in a website for a website and for further optimizing this website you will get a ebook from me which is a paid ebook although i am giving it for free as a giveaway so i'll show you how to get that ebook but before that let us complete this options which i want to tell you more so if you want to make any changes you can change it through pages if you want to add any post or blogs you can go to post and blogs and add add a post or blog it's very easy like you created a page you can post your blog you can just write the content and create it you will find few default posts you can just check those default posts and you can change accordingly next thing is menu because you need to change your menus 
like we have few menus which were default given here you need to add some menu or delete some menu so let us let me show you how to do that go to the appearance section and go to menus option in this menus option you can see these are the menus which are shown above so if i don't want this programs menu so what i'll do is i'll just select it from here and i'll re remove it once i remove it i'll click on save menu now you can see this program menu is no more available and you can add more menus from clicking on add to menu whenever you create a page you will get a new pages option here where you can select that particular page and create a menu of that particular page you can even add posts to your menus you can add categories of those posts to your menu you can create custom links to add to your menu as well so it's very easy creating menus like this you can create menus and you can update your default template so guys wasn't it very easy to create a website using wordpress and this particular plugin and theme so let us see how you can get your two gifts which i committed you earlier for that we'll go to our steps again and we'll see in step 4 we have to install the extra plugin which i told you import the demo content next is edit content and your website is ready which i have already told you still when you are on this page and you want help you can click on these videos and watch it now turn is for getting the ebook it's very easy you just click on this button yes i want ebook so you have to submit your details and discount code of 100% is already applied you don't need to pay anything and you can claim your ebook but remember don't forget to check your email immediately if you don't find email there go to your spam bin still if you don't find it then you can always query us for that now the next thing that is a plugin of 59 dollars which i committed to you it's very easy here you can just submit your details and you can just ask for that particular plugin even if you have not received this ebook you can mention it here and you can click on need help and we will provide you with that plugin again some giveaways which are very easy you just need to subscribe our social channels and there is nothing to do in that it's very easy and it's free you will get your 59 dollars plugin in a easy manner so guys hope you have liked this video if you have liked it then please hit a like and don't forget to share this video with your friends because it will be helpful for them also and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet do subscribe to my channel so that you can get more such videos and tools for your digital marketing journey so till we meet in the next video keep learning keep growing